welcome to averages from frequency tables uh, just before we start a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video okay so um, a dice was rolled 25 times and the scores for each roll recorded in the table now you'll notice that this is a frequency table it means that we have um, a column which tells us how many times each of the scores occurred. Frequency means how many times it happened. Um, so this is telling us that we scored one, four times, two, six times, three, seven times, and so on. And so we come to the uh, working out some averages from this table. Now the mode, if you've seen uh, the previous uh, video, you'll know that the mode is the most common value. But we're going to change the uh, definition slightly here. Because we're into a frequency table, we can actually call it the most frequent and that basically means the most common but it means the one that has the highest frequency now this is why a lot of people uh, make a mistake they'll look down this table and say well there is a two here and here and here so and there's a four and a four and a four they are the most common values but that is not what we are talking about here we're talking about which uh, which score happened the most often so we're looking down the frequency column and looking for the highest value and in this case we are looking at this number seven now again a common mistake here would be to say that the mode is seven but that is not the case the mode is the mode score so it is the score which is actually um, associated with it the mode would be three three happened more often than any other score then it comes to the median um, a lot of the time uh, the median is simply described as the middle number once placed in order and again this can cause problems when it comes to frequency tables as people may look at this list in the scores and say well the middle is here in between three and four or they may look at the frequencies and place these in order two two four four six seven find the middle of those but that will not work because again it's all due to what this table actually represents in this case what it's saying is we scored one four times so one 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 we scored two six times two 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 two, two. Oh, too many twos and then three seven times three 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 and on and on and on and so finding the median we would actually need to find out where the middle is now there is a handy little trick when it comes to a frequency table if we take the total number of items so there were 25 rolls and if we add one and half it what this will do is actually tell us where the median is not what the median is but where so 25 plus 1 is 26 divided by 2 is 13 which means that the median is going to be the 13th value in our list. And so all we need to do is keep a running total. So if we go down the frequency column, we've already got four results in the first section. By the time we add in the twos, we've got four plus six, so we've got 10 values. And then if we add in the threes, we're up to 17. That means that the 13th value must have been in this group here because the 13th will be past the 10th value but before the 17th value. And so again, just like with the mode, what we're looking for is the score that that goes along with. In this case, the median would also be three. Now for the same data, we're then looking to find the mean as well. Now. The mean, um, just like with a list of data, is a little bit more complicated than the others, um, but it does still take into account what we were doing before. We had the mean being the total of all of the scores divided by how many there were. Now, the question is, how do we get that information from the table that we've started with? Well, we need to know what the total of all of the scores were. So if I score one four times, well, that would be one plus one plus one plus one. It would be four. If I scored two six times, well, that would be two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. It would be 12. Now, how could I get this quickly? 
Well, these are simple multiplications. I'm multiplying the score by its frequency. So 3 times 7 will be 21. 4 times 4 will be 16. 5 times 2 will be 10. And 6 times 2 will be 12. So this is a column which occasionally is called fx. And that's because of frequency being f and score or whatever we're recording the data about being called x. Now, this is not the total score just yet, the total that we're looking for here. The total would be the total of all of these. So I would need to add together everything in the fx column. So 4, 6, 7, 13, 15. Carry the 1. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have a total of 75. Now this box is very, very important. This would always be classed as the total of the total, or the total scores, because that is all of the scores added together, giving us 75. And so, in my working out for the mean, it's going to need 75 on the top. But it also needs divided by how many. Well, how many rolls of the dice did we do? Now, we were told this in the question. We were told it was 25, but that value will also be given by taking the total of this column. So if we just check, 4 plus 6 is 10, 17, 21, 23, 25, it matches. And so the how many is the total of the frequencies, how many different rolls of the dice or piece of data we have collected. And so our mean will be 75 divided by 25, which is 3. Okay, so now we're going to put all of this together um, in one. So uh, the shoe sizes of a group of Year 11 students is shown below. Calculate the mode, median and mean shoe size. So we're just going to make a little list to the side of what we've got. So the mode is the most common or the most frequent. So in this case, we need to have a look down our frequency column and see which one is the biggest value. So if we go down, we've got 12, 30, 34, 35. Well, there we go. That is the biggest number in our table. But remember, that means that we're talking about a shoe size of seven. The median. Now, to get the median, I need to know um, how many people we actually ask because I need to find the middle of them. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're actually going to do some working out. We're going to have to work out how many students we are dealing with. So we need to add all of these values together and we can bring in a calculator at this point. And 12 plus 30 plus 34, plus 35, plus 23, plus 8, plus 3. So there are 145 students. Now, to find the median, we'll use the same trick as we did before. The total number of students is 145. We'll add 1 and we'll half it. Now that is 146 divided by 2, which is 73. Now the median is not 73. That would be uh, quite strange to have someone with a size 73 shoe. But what it does mean, it's the 73rd piece of data. So we need to keep our running total. So let's begin with the first value. Size 4s, there were 12 people. If I add in the 5s, I have 42 people. If I add in the sixes, I have 76 people. Therefore, 73rd person must have been in this group because we've gone beyond the 42nd, but we haven't yet reached the 76th. And so our median would be the group which is included here. That would give us a median of six. And finally, the mean. Now we're missing something from our table. If we want to find the mean, 
we need that extra column and so we need to just add in extra sections to the end of the table for us to work out everything that we require because again shoe size here is our x frequency is our f so we need f x which is the two multiplied together now again we can grab our calculator for each section here we've got four times 12 which is 48 we have 5 times 30 which is 150 we have 6 times 34 which is 204 we have 7 times 35 which is 245 8 times 23 which is 184 9 times 8 which is 72 10 times 3 which is 30 and we need to add all of those together so just a quick addition 48 plus 150 plus 204 plus 245 plus 184 plus 72 plus 30 equals 933 now if I'm going to work out the mean I need to take the total of fx and divide it by the total frequency so the total of all of the shoe sizes and divided by the total number of people and if I do that, again, calculator at hand, 933 divided by 145. The answer as a decimal is 6.43 to two decimal places. Now, that seems a bit weird. Again, we can't get a 6.43 shoe size, but because it's a mean, uh, that can happen. Decimals are absolutely fine. And to end with, we're going to come to the exam question. This was on the Edexcel paper in June 2018, Foundation Paper 2. Now, that does mean it's a calculator question, so we can use one if we need to um, later on. Um, so, Marla buys some bags of buttons. There are 19 buttons, or 20 buttons, or 21 buttons, or 22 buttons in each bag. The table gives some information about the, to uh, the number of buttons in each bag. The total number of buttons is 320. Complete the table. Now you'll notice in this question it doesn't actually say anything about averages but this uses the ideas that we've just been uh, been looking at in order to answer the question because what we know is the total number of buttons where on this table would that exist well that would exist in an additional column the total number is 320 now what we need to think about here is we had seven bags that had 20 buttons in them and so seven times 20 is 140 buttons three bags had 21 buttons so that is 63 buttons i'm multiplying these together one bag had 22 buttons now the last box well, 19 times something is something. How am I going to work out what those are? Well, I'm going to take my calculator and I'm just going to work out what this section here must be. So I had a total of 320 buttons. I've used 22 and 63 and 140. And so I am left with 95 buttons remaining. We want to know how many bags that must have been. Well, the 95 buttons were divided into groups of 19 because there were 19 buttons in each bag. 95 divided by 19, let's use the calculator again, would be 5. 
And so there must have been five bags that included 19 buttons. Thank you.